Today, we're making crockpot vegetable soup. It's so good, you won't miss the beef. Today, I'm making slow cooker vegetable soup. It's the perfect meatless Monday recipe or really any night of the week, but it's delicious, it's packed with flavor, and you won't even miss the beef for the chicken tonight in this simple recipe. You can get the recipe in the link in the description, or you can go to eatingonadime.com, just search Crock-Pot Vegetable Soup, or say, hey, can I have the recipe? And we'll send it to you. Okay, let's get cooking. Any Crock-Pot will work. You're gonna need a Crock-Pot that is a six quart or higher for this recipe, just because of the mere contents of it. This will feed a crowd, so it's the perfect recipe. Okay, let's get going. We have celery and some carrots that we peeled the carrots and then we're gonna chop them up. Let's start with the carrots first. You want them in kind of bite-sized pieces because you want them ready for like a spoon. Because remember, this is a soup, not like a stew or a roast. So you want them smaller. in the pot. So we're just throwing everything in the crock pot friends and then the crock pot is going to do all its magic. Now when I do my celery I like to just do one slice down the middle and then bunch them up and then you can chop them up. That will make them more bite sized. If you have people who are weird about celery and have like celery texture issues then I would run your knife two times down your celery and then chop them up. That way they're smaller pieces and you'll still get the flavor of celery, but you won't get the texture issues because they're so small. Okay. We've got an onion diced up that we're gonna throw in. I already diced it up so I didn't cry for you. You're welcome. We are going to peel three Yukon Gold potatoes and dice them up as well. I'm pretty sure you could probably use any kind of potato, a rest potato or a red potato were good, would be good as well. The Yukon Golds are just really pretty and they hold up really well in the soup. Sometimes like russet potatoes tend to fall apart easier and these are a little bit, they're made for this if that makes sense. Oh my goodness, my knife is not being cooperative today. Now you wanna make them a little bit bigger than you would your other vegetables because you don't want them to fall apart because they'll fall apart some, if that makes sense. Does that make sense, friends? Let me know. Now this is our crock pot vegetable soup recipe that you can get the recipe on Eat on a Dime. We do also have an Instant Pot version where you can make the same recipe in like 30 minutes or less, but you still get that slow cooked flavor. So if you are an Instant Pot fan, you can always say, hey, can I have that Instant Pot recipe? Or I'll include a link to that in the description. Or just go to eatingonadime.com and search Instant Pot Vegetable Soup. I mean, while you're on the website, if I were you, I would go ahead and search vegetable soup because we have a beef vegetable soup, a chicken vegetable soup that you've got to try. They're so good as well. So the hardest part about this recipe is peeling and dicing a potato. That's it. I mean, come on. Everybody can peel and chop up a potato. So there's no reason not for you not to try out this simple and easy recipe. Last potato. Doing a meatless Monday is a great way to save money. And it's just a great way to try different recipes. We have a whole category on eating on a dime for vegetarian recipes. 
But besides just meatless Mondays and regular vegetarian recipes, you can also do um, like breakfast for dinner. There's lots of different ideas on eatonadime.com. But I'll include a link to our vegetarian category as well for all our vegetarian recipes like this one. Okay, then we're gonna toss in, we have a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. This is where you can make it completely your own by the kind of mixed vegetables you buy. Any kind will work. It's a huge time saver. Then we have two bay leaves, some minced garlic. Then we have a whole bunch of seasonings by a whole bunch of seasonings. I mean, we have thyme, I want to make sure I get them all. Thyme, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. So it's really not a bunch, guys. Four. Huh? It's four. It's four. It's just four seasonings. <laughs> then the secret ingredient that makes this so good is the fire roasted tomatoes. We're doing two cans of fire roasted tomatoes. You're going to find fire roasted tomatoes in the same section as you would regular tomatoes. Did I say that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Sometimes they're hard to find. Sometimes they're really at the top of your shelf. Sometimes they're at the very bottom. If you can't find fire roasted tomatoes, just regular diced tomatoes would work. But the fire roasted kind of give it a spice, right? Isn't that how you describe it? Kind of a smoky, it just has a more intense, delicious flavor. I love it. And I love using fire roasted tomatoes in our homemade salsa recipe. Um, they're really good. So give it a try. Last but not least, friends, and we're almost done with this recipe. We're just going to throw in some vegetable broth or vegetable stock. It's going to need eight cups, which is two containers or cartons. Are these called cartons? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then if you're wanting to save some money, you could do one carton of vegetable broth and then do four cups of water. So you would do half and half. That would help. We just like having the extra flavor that comes from a broth when we're doing a soup. But that's an easy way to save some money. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but it's simple, it's easy, and it's packed with flavor. I think you'll be surprised how delicious this vegetable soup is. And it's the perfect fall and winter recipe. Serve it with, since you're going to have all this free time, you can make our world famous artisan bread on eatingonadime.com, our homemade Hawaiian rolls, or our homemade dinner rolls, or even our cheesy garlic bread if you're in the mood for some cheese. All of those would be delicious and all of those can be found on eatingonadime.com as well. So simple, easy, and no reason why you can't make it. Remember, the link is in the description or you can say, hey, can I have the recipe? And we'll send it to you right now. If you love this crockpot recipe, you're going to love the Lazy Day Cooking Club. Imagine having your freezer filled with crockpot recipes that you can just dump in the slow cooker in the morning, come home, and dinner's done. In the description below, I have a special link where you can try out the club for just 99 cents. Thanks so much for watching. If you love crockpot soup recipes, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of our simple but easy recipes. Happy cooking, friends!